Hi everyone, welcome to another video in the series of chess shots. In the series, we look at the games which have been finished within 10 moves, sometimes much lesser than that. So today we're going to look at a game that was played between Alexander Beaufort Meek, who is playing with the white pieces, and Edward, who is playing with the black pieces. The game was played at an exhibition match in New Orleans, USA in the year 1855. Alexander Beaufort Meek was an American politician, judge, uh, lawyer and also a well-known chess player. You must have watched the games between Meek and Paul Morphy. Uh, the games are quite famous. However, we don't know much about the player who is playing with the black pieces. He may be a visitor coming to the exhibition, but at war, the name is the only thing that we know about this player. So without further delay, let us dive into the game here. White begins the game with e4 and black replies with e5, the king's pawn opening, and white goes for f4, the king's gambit on the board. And well, the idea is that this e5 pawn is actually preventing this white e4 pawn from advancing. At the same time, it is preventing white to go for the immediate d4 push, taking control of the center. So instead of uh, knight f3 or c3 preparing for d4, white here takes an uh, uh, aggressive uh, option to get rid of this e5 pawn. White here goes for f4. The idea is that after pawn captures pawn, white can go for d4 taking a stronger control of the center and white actually accepts the possible threats uh, coming on the king because of because of uh, king is open uh, on the board in the open in the center of the board and uh, in return, white actually gets uh, the, the stronger control of the center, space, initiative, so it's worth taking the risk. However, black here goes for e into f4, accepting the gambit here and a knight f3 here, which is the main move in this position. Uh, the idea is preventing uh, the queen to come on h4 because this knight is now defending the h4 square. So d5 by, uh, by black immediately challenging the center and e into d5 and now here black could go for uh, bishop e7 maybe or knight f6 going for development also creating some room for the king to castle but obviously not capturing uh, this pawn here but black captures this pawn in this situation queen into d5 the problem is, uh, I mean, there is no certain problem, but the point is black is uh, actually losing a tempo here. So after knight c3, now white goes for development and also attacks the queen. Now queen needs to go back. So queen d8 and now black is down a tempo. Obviously, black also lags in development. So here uh, knight e4 by white, uh, putting an outpost over the center and bishop g4, pinning the knight against the queen, uh, weakening white's control over the center. So queen e2 by white with the threats of nasty discoveries on, on e file after uh, moving this knight here. And uh, black again here simply uh, could go for bishop e7 or queen e7, uh, preventing the possibility of, uh, of discoveries. But black here goes for the worst possible choice in this position. Black here goes for capturing this knight, bishop into f3. And with this, the game is instantly finished. So I would urge you to pause the video in this position and try to find the best move for white here. Well, the choice is obvious. Uh, white here goes for knight f6 and it is checkmate because it's a discovered check by the queen, also a double check by the knight here. So the king has to move, but the d7 square is also protected by uh, the knight. With this, Alexander Beaufort Meek uh, wins the game and we're coming to the end of uh, the video also. In conclusion, I would say that King's Gambit accepted or King's Gambit in general, a, a very razor sharp opening. So whenever we are playing that, we need to be uh, very uh, cautious about the things we are doing. Any sort of small mistake can lead to a disaster which actually happens in this game. So with this, we are coming to the end of the video. I am taking your leave. See you next time with some other exciting content.